Apple Town restaurant owner is a true trailblazer. Channel 3's Roger Suzannon and the Something's Cooking crew visit a new vegan restaurant that is making history one dish at a time. It's full steam ahead for La Pat Watrous. This is like my dream, but I cannot believe this comes so fast. Customers can't stop raving about her brand new Middletown restaurant, a Roy Thai Garden. The flavor, the taste, you know it's made with love. When they're eating my food, you can see on their eyes. They're so happy. LaPat opened her business in the old Thai Gardens location on Main Street. But she didn't just add the word Arroy, Thai for delicious. She completely changed the menu and added a major twist. If you don't know, you don't know. And now you know that Arroy Thai Garden is Connecticut's first 100% vegan Thai restaurant. I'm really excited. I'm really happy for that. The first person LaPat impressed with her cooking when she moved to the U.S. from Thailand two years ago was her husband, John. He's not a vegan, but says LaPat's meals are so good, he doesn't care. When I had her food, I was like, I, I, I could eat this all day. It doesn't matter. This one is Dunkin' Noodle. It's like very popular here. Drunken noodles are ubiquitous, but LaPat stand out. A heaping helping of perfect rice noodles, veggies, and Thai basil. Yum. And LaPat's dumplings, blue because they're made with butterfly flour, will amaze. Oh my God, they go crazy. They're like, oh my God, I never have it. Another showstopper is the cow soy soup, which Taste Atlas calls the best soup in the world. LaPat's version is packed with coconut milk, rice noodles, and Thai herbs. Mm. Vegan is not boring at all. If you say the vegan food boring, do not try my food yet. All right, my hungry homies, it's finally time to eat and check out this feast that LaPat has made for us. But I have to start with the cow soy soup because LaPat says it's one of the best soups in the world. Let's give it a whirl here. You know, I'm not a vegan, but I could eat here at a Roy Thai garden any day. Reporting in middle time for something's cooking. I'm Roger Suzanne and Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Who needs meat?